In this video, we will learn about the new multi-tenancy feature in Rhoda version 0.2.0. I'm logged in as LDAP Dev2 non-admin user. Let's say I want to work on an application that requires CockroachDB. I'll first create a project called Dev2 project. Now, I'm going to switch to the developer console and I want to see if there are any CockroachDB database instances available to me. Now, let's go to Add to Project, and you should see a new tile called Cloud Hosted Database, through which I can see Rhoda Managed Database instances. You can see the four supported vendor managed database services. Let's pick CockroachDB, and we see that there are no instances available to me. No problem. Rhoda 0.2.0 allows ordinary users to add database provider accounts to their application namespace. Let's click on import database provider account. When we try to import, we get a warning that we must first have a DBAS policy file. Let's click on the create a policy link, which takes us to the Rhoda operator menu for creating the policy. Let's give a name to the policy and then click Create. Next, we will examine the YAML file for the policy. Rhoda operator only allows one DBAS policy per namespace. By default, the DBAS policy restricts access to the database inventories to only the given namespace. We will see later in this video how to open up the access to other namespaces. Now let's go back to database access because we want to add the CockroachDB uh, provider account. So go to import. We will select CockroachDB. And then we'll enter the API secret. Anybody can sign quite easily for the CockroachDB account. And we have a video on this also in our library. And finally, you'll give a name, developer to CRDB. Now press import. And Rhoda will go to Cockroach DB Cloud and fetch all the database instances that are available in my account. Of course, now that I have the setup, the I can also create new database instances from the configuration menu. Let's go to the developer console and go back to add to project and the cloud hoster database, Cockroach DB Cloud, add to topology. And now we see our instances. So I can pick the database instance that I want to work on and add it to my namespace. We now have the DBAS connection object with the credentials required to connect to the Cockroach DB database instance in our namespace. Next, I'm going to switch to another developer persona called LDAP Dev1. LDAP Dev1 is working on an application in the namespace called Dev1 Project and would like to use the same CockroachDB instance that was used by LDAP Dev2. LDAP Dev1 does not have any database instances available to it. Let's switch back to LDAP Dev2. LDAP Dev2 has to edit the DBAS policy in Dev2 Project and add a spec section with a list of other namespaces that are allowed to connect to the policies database inventories. You edit the dev2 project policy by going to the Rhoda operator provider account policy and then select YAML to edit it. Here we are adding dev1 project namespace under connection namespaces to allow it to connect to the database inventories. Then you have to save the YAML. You can also put an asterisk within single quotes to allow access from all namespaces in the OpenShift cluster. LDAP Dev2 opened a terminal session as it also needs to give view access to its namespace. In this case, the namespace is Dev2 project, which has the database inventories. The command is OC ADM policy, add role to user. And here we are giving view access to LDAP Dev1 user for the namespace dev2 project. Let's check if user LDAP dev1 has access to CockroachDB instances. Select CockroachDB Cloud. Okay, 
Now, LDAP Dev 1 can now select the same cockroach DB instance that was used by LDAP Dev 2. And now we have the DBAS connection object with the credentials required to connect to the database instance in LDAP Dev 1's namespace. In conclusion, RODA tenancy is built around native OpenShift RBAC and namespaces with a single DBAS policy per namespace. Thank you.